Hello boys and girls, this is Miss Southern here on the bass going over 4.5 hook'em. Cleverly called hook'em because we're studying how to play uh, hooked bowing on our instruments. And hooked bowing is when you play two staccato notes in the same direction, whether it be down bow or up bow. Alright, so let's look at 4.5 and try to play it in its entirety first to see if you understand the concept. If not, and you didn't do so hot playing it, uh, then go ahead and keep watching the video so we can break it down for you, okay? Let's get our metronome started at 60 beats per minute. Here it is going. And let's play this exercise together, starting with an open D. One, two, ready, and... And that's the exercise. All right, so if you did great with that, go ahead and watch another video. Uh, keep practicing and get your speed up a little bit, and um, good job. Otherwise, keep, con keep watching and we'll go over this here, uh, note for note, rhythm by rhythm. All right, so first of all, let's go over what we see on our paper and our exercise. We see that a hooked bow is indicated because, well, we have a, a tie or a curved line connecting two of these quarter notes together. Uh, and you see that pretty often all the way through this exercise and all the chord notes are marked with a staccato uh, marking which is a little dot right above the note head or in some cases below the note head. That means to play the note short and detached. Uh, in this case for open D we'll play short and that is what a staccato uh, D would sound like. And to play uh, hooked bowings real quick, let's try understanding how to play uh, just the staccato notes all in one direction. So let's practice that together. We're gonna start from the frog end of our bow and try playing uh, down, down, down uh, quarter notes as much as we can to get to the tip. Then we'll go the opposite direction and play staccato notes going up. Here we go. One, two, set, and play. Short, short, short. Short, keep going down. One, two, three, four, all the way. Three, and I go up, up. Just very short staccato notes. Up, 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 up. All right, and so that's the idea of playing hooked bowing, playing short notes all in one direction. Uh, we know that it'd be played in one direction, even if it wasn't marked here on the music, because the curved line is like a slur, and every time you play notes under a slur, you're bowing it in one direction anyways. Uh, just staccato makes it more separated, which is telling us, rather than having a bow marking, just put a curved line. Saves more, uh, saves more ink. So, with that being said, let's go over the notes portion of this exercise. The very first measure starts on an open D, and that is played three times. Then we go to a first finger E on measure two, also played three times. Then to a fourth finger F sharp, played three times. And then finally a measure four, uh, one finger, uh, I'm sorry, open G played three times as well. Uh, let's play just the first four measures and kind of get that under our fingers. Here we go. Let's start with measure one first. And we're gonna play two staccato hook bow down bows uh, on the open D. And then we'll play half note up, up bow. Let's put that a little bit darker so you can still see the screen behind me. All right, here we go. Just play two staccato chord notes down. One, two. Then let's play up D half note. Three, four. Try it again. Ready? And down, down, up. Three, four. Let's connect that and make it one full even measure. Ready? And down, down, up. Good. Let's go to E. First finger on the D string. Same way. Three, and down. Let's go now to F sharp, four fingers on the D string, same style, ready, and F sharp, F sharp, F sharp going up, then the G finally, going the same style, ready, and hook, hook, half note. Awesome. Now let's play the first four measures together and see how it sounds like without stopping. Here we go. One, two, ready, and down. Uh, go to E, E, B, up, F sharp. 
sharp, F sharp, up. G open. And that's the first four measures. Now let's go to measure five. Measure five to the end, the rhythm is flipped. We go now to a half note at the beginning, playing with the down bows rather than an up bow. And then we have two chord notes that are a hooked bow going up instead of down. So we flipped everything. Starting on a first finger A on the G string. Let's try playing just the up, a down bow A half note. Ready? And A. Stop your bow. Now let's play two A's going up a staccato uh, a hooked bow. Ready? And up, up. Let's try that together, all in measure one. One, two, ready, half note first. Down, up, up. Try it again, ready, and down, up, up. Great, then we'll move on to measure six, where we go to uh, open G, play the same exact way as measure, seven, uh, measure five. Here we go, open G, half note first. One, two, ready, and down. Awesome. Now on measure seven, we change up just a little bit. We still play a half note to two quarter notes, but this case we play a half note F sharp, fourth finger F sharp, to two hooked bow E's. Let's try the E F sharp first half note. Ready, and F sharp. Now let's play first finger E, two hooked bows up. Ready, and E, E. Great, let's put that together. Three, four. F sharp, E, E, and then the very end, measure eight, we have a half note D going down, then a half note D going up. And that is the last half. Let's put that together slowly, starting from measure five. First finger A, one, two, ready, and down, up, up, open G, down. F sharp down, go to E up, open D down, open D up. And those are the last four measures. Let's see if we can put all four measures on both sides together, play the entire exercise. That's how many measures? Uh, yeah, you guys can figure that out. Setting the metronome down to 50 beats per minute, and let's try playing the entire thing. We're not going to play with dynamics just yet. You may have noticed that there are dynamic markings, forte and piano, written to this piece. Let's not worry about those just yet. Let's just play what we see on the paper uh, for the rhythm for, and the hooked bowing style. And then we'll add the dynamics later. Here we go, starting on open D. One, two, set and play. Short, short, up, long, down, E, up, hooked F sharp. One, Two, up, three, four, open G, short, short, long, now A, first finger, long, short, short, G, open, short, short, F sharp, now to E, shorts, open D, long, open D, long, uh, and we're done. Great. Now let's add dynamics to this. Remember that dynamics tell us how loud to play a piece, and they're usually indicated by a few uh, letters, um, usually with an F or a P, and sometimes an M. But in this case, you only know of two that we've learned so far. An F, which we have at the very beginning, which stands for forte, meaning to play loudly. And to play loudly on our instrument, we use a little bit more pressure on the bow on top of the string, and use the bow to go a little bit faster across the strings. That makes it play louder. And then, of course, P, which is indicated by letter P, piano, which means to play softly, to do the exact opposite. Least amount of pressure we can and moving the bow uh, slowly using less bow. Uh, also note that when you see a dynamic marking, uh, that wherever it lands on, it changes the dynamic or the volume right then and there, and it continues that same volume until you see another indication to play something different or another volume. So in this case, we have forte in the beginning, and it continues us, it tells us to keep playing forte or loud until we see measure five, where we have a P for piano. And that tells us then, right then and there, to play soft and continue to play soft 
until the very end of the piece we get to the double bar line or the final bar line because there's no other indication to play any differently. So now let's add that technique to this exercise, playing with dynamics. Here we go. Still at 50 beats per minute. I'm going to start with forte, playing loud. Here we go. One, two, ready, and... And that's the whole exercise. All right, so if you got that, great. And if not, please ask me any questions I can, I can answer to help you get better at this. Um, ask me in class or email me, all right? Hope you enjoyed the video, hope this helped, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.